Sketchware Tagalog Tutorials Welcome to Sketchware Tagalog Tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to make text not readable and before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated for more amazing content about Android app development only right here on Sketchware Tagalog Tutorials. Step number 1. Create a new project. Creating a new project is optional and you can skip this method if you want. In your main activity, drag and drop vertical and horizontal liner layouts, text views, edit texts and buttons widgets that can be found in the left side of Sketchware app. Set your preferred sizes on these views if you want. Number 2. Create a new more block and name it as Arnis File Security. Add two string parameters namely MyString and MyPath. The purpose of this block is to encode the MyString and save it as text files to path MyPath. Label to more block is not required, but in this tutorials I am going to use this as is. Speaking of more block, please bear in mind that Sketchware's more block is actually equivalent to Java void method. block download the java code in the description below this video if you have it copy it from any text editor and paste it on the add source directly block of sketchware in addition the add source directly block can be found in the sketchware operator tab in my case i already saved it and i will get it from my collections create another new more block and name it as arnis file security underscore 2 Add one string parameter namely MyPath, the purpose of this block is to decode the text file from the given path MyPath.
Step number 3. Go back to your main activity, use the more block that was firstly created. When button 1 is clicked, it will encode the text given in the edit text 2 and will save to the path of file as shown in edit text 1 as well. The encoded text will be displayed in text view 1 respectively. The toast message appears when the texts are successfully encoded or not. more block will be used in button 2 clicked event. When button 2 is clicked, it will decode the text file from path shown in edit text 1. The decoded text will be displayed in text view 2 respectively. The toast message appears when the texts are successfully decoded or not. Step number 4. In order to make Sketchware automatically add read and write permissions, we need to use two file blocks and leave them empty. Examine the Android Manifest.xml, as you can see here, Sketchware automatically generates these required permissions namely, Android.Permission.Read underscore external underscore storage, and Android.Permission.Write underscore external underscore storage, respectively. So I do not need to add it anymore because I actually have it. This permission was automatically generated because in my logic I used these two file blocks to read and also to write file. This is actually very important to avoid denial of access to the file we wanted to write or read. In main activity class, the check self permission is made an onCreate event which means users will be asked whether or not they permit the app to make write or read into their phone external storage ideally. Step number 5. Create two string variables namely my encoded and the other would be my decoded. We will be using these variables and displaying the results to the two text views.
button. As you can see here, text view 1 indicates not readable texts. Now we are going to click the second button. And finally, it successfully decodes the text from a text file. To check the unreadable file, launch your file manager and open the folder named unreadable then read the file name unreadable.txt inside it. Voila, the texts that we have read from text view one error in the text file. for watching Sketchware Tagalog Tutorials. Kukuhay Time Lahat!